Hello Facebook, I hope you're all having a superbly wonderful day so far. Now, I love inspirational speaking. I absolutely love the positive effect that the art of storytelling has on individuals within an audience. Now last year I was speaking at Middlesex University when all of a sudden I decided to flip the script. Now there was 300 people in the audience and I thought to myself, surely it's not just my journey that is within this room. So on the mic I said, if there's anybody that would like to share anything with the audience, now's your opportunity. I put the mic down and I walked to the side of the room and this is what happened. I'm gonna put the microphone on this chair and I'm gonna walk over there. If anyone has anything you'd like to say to an audience here today, whether you wanna share your own journey, a story, inspire people, will you say yes or will you say no? My name is Sherry and my background is from Pakistan but I was born in Belgium. When I came to this country I was in um, A11 and I couldn't speak English and everyone was sitting in GCSEs so people were laughing at me because I couldn't speak English. So I went to school, I did my best and by the end of the year I was like either fail or a pass, it's still GCSEs, I will go to college next year. By the end of the year, when I opened my envelope, my GCSEs, I looked, I passed all my English, I passed my English, my maths exam, everything. So I just want to say that just do your best. Even if you think that you're not going to do it, just still give your best, 100%, and I bet you will do it. struggling with like social anxiety or social awkwardness it's a really big struggle um, I think a few years ago I would have ne would never have um, walked it been um, stood up or like walked and put attention on myself in like the room because it's so daunting having all these people staring at you and it's like what am I gonna say what am I gonna do but it's like you have to take the first step and talk to people first. Don't always expect people to um, walk up to you. Just be open, just be um, accepting, just be welcoming. And also, anxiety will come and go. It's not, it's not, it doesn't always stay. It doesn't always um, stay for your whole life. Um, you will make it through, of course. Because I, I, I'm like, a few, four years ago, I always used to stay in my show. I never ever would, um, you know, talk to anybody outside you know, my small little friendship group, and now see, I'm sitting in, at the middle of the room with all the attention, it's like so, so strange, but you know, you get, you, if you more you expose yourself to being open and being honest and being, um, talking to more people, the more you'll be, um, be able to conquer that fear much easier, so. Africa, Sierra Leone, where everybody knows we have war in Sierra Leone and as a child I witnessed it and I was abused and everything. Then, but before that I failed to go to, I don't know how they call it, when you're in, for, to go to senior school. I failed because I was sucking my finger. I've been in law school eight years and then now I'm coming to do my midway for it. I started with no, no background. Education, I struggled. The war came, they took everything. But here I am today. I'm seeing myself, I've got diploma in advancing nursing, and I'm coming again, and I know I will finish, and I will have BS honors in that way. Whatever you've been through, just see it as a stepping stone to step up. We all have 
has a story, and that your story makes you unique. Mm -hmm. And you will give your story to somebody, and your story will build somebody's life. So wherever you are, be an inspirator, be a motivator. Don't pull people down, bring them up. And when you hear people's stories, don't look at them, mm, because you never know. We have a long way to go, and we all will finish well. Okay. Good afternoon, my name is Amanda. Uh, next month I'll be turning the big 2 one, 21. Um, I've had such a lovely day today. It is exceeding my expectations. I want to thank the Middlesex staff and students that have made this day possible. I'm not just saying that because um, that's what you want to hear and that's what will make you feel happy. I genuinely mean that I had such a great day. Um, I used to stutter, so talking in front of a big audience makes me a bit nervous. <laughs> I'm not trying to make a soft story. Now, so <laughs> I'm, trouble with. Um, I'm not sure what else to say. I just want to say, let's make this community, this little set community, amazing and brilliant together. Thank you, yeah. everyone who came today to make oh. this event. Possible. Thank you. God bless you all. Every time I wanted to come to uni, something kept on telling me, don't do it. Then I had a baby last year. I went through, so she's now 16 months old. So I went through her time with my child, because it's just me and her and my partner left and everything, which is okay, because I have a beautiful baby. So what happened is, there is a lady who came in to help me through my journey with my child. And I was so inspired with what she was doing with me and my child. We could get food, we got so much help. And I said, I, one night I said to myself, I think I'm gonna go and do what she's doing. So I woke up in the morning, I came to uni here, and I applied for social work. I, I thought I couldn't get it, but guess what? I applied like today, the following day was given an interview, I passed. And here I am today, I'm going to be a social worker. I'm so proud. For my, uh, my course of life, I have been judging myself in based on what other people can, uh, are going to say about me or what are going to think about me. But now I'm so proud of who I've become and I am sure that I'm going to go, I'm going to go far mm -hmm. as long as I keep believing in myself. And that's what I want to, everybody of you, believe in yourself. Yes. yes. <laughs> I don't want to say I'm shy, but I just want to say thank you very much, the whole team, everybody. I was able to conquer something, and as I'm standing here, I just noticed that I've conquered fear. Hmm. The first time I stepped into the school, the first day when I had my exams, I was scared up to today. But I tell you what, right now, I have conquered fear. Thank you. Now how heartwarming and humbling was that? And something I talk about in my presentations is the power of saying yes when you want to say no. When you say the word no, nothing changes. But when you say the word yes, amazing things could happen. Now if you'd like to find out a little bit more about my journey, what I do and how I inspire and motivate your teams, then please feel free to leave a comment, DM me, or just check out my website, anthonyinspires.com. Take care of yourselves, and I wish you all a superbly wonderful rest of your day.